Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Today's battle is on the Westfield map, and we've got Leisha Ron in the tier 60. Well, let's uh, have a look at the tier 60. It's a new vehicle that came in Battle Pass. Uh, cost 28 tokens. We're not going to talk about whether it's worth the tokens. It's up to you, but uh, let's have a quick uh, overview of the tank. Main claim to fame. All right, it's a tier of nine. TD. Uh, it's classified as an assault TD. It's got, you can see, a fairly uh, rearward mounted turret. Its key um, value is the DPM, which is um, 2910, which is without any modifications. So, with the crew skills and gun ramers, you can improve that. We can see that Lee has got both food and a gun ramer mounted, so we can expect over 3,000 uh, DPM, which is pretty good for tier 9. 400 alpha damage, standard pen is 258. Um, let's have a quick look at the ammo here. So, shell velocity standard AP is 1150. He's not using the heat rounds at all. And he's got some HE, so let's have a look at the HE. 515 average damage, pen of 60. It's going to heat around quickly, so pen at 320. So yeah, it will be competitive in tier nine game, uh, tier 10 games, I think. But this is a tier 9, tier 8 game, so I have a bit of an advantage here. Um, rear mounted turret, of course, the, your gun depression over the front is going to be somewhat limited. In this particular case, 7 degrees of gun depression. A little bit more over the sides and the rear. And it is a fully rotating turret from what I recall. But here he's got to come up and use his forward gun depression. So you've got to pick your slopes carefully. This will be a bit, bit of a challenging place for tanks with forward gun depression, but unless you can find your places. So 400 alpha. He hasn't done a lot of damage yet. So he really had one shot. His team's got a bit of an advantage here. It is an encounter game, so. Uh, full 15 minutes and across with the um, cap timer you can't get capped out all that easily so anyway that just sort of sets up the conditions of the game now you missed that shot there um, what can we say about the dispersion I think it's 0.38 is standard um, so quite reasonable on a few range without any modification 380 which is pretty decent and it's a 120mm gun as we've seen, so um, not quite as good as a 122 in terms of overmatching rooftops and that sort of thing, but unless it's pretty handy. Alright, took a big hit there from the Waffle Trager, but uh, now he's starting to do some damage in the game. Now he's running hardening as well, I think standard um, hit points for the vehicle is 1900, he's got that up to 2060 with the extra hardening, so getting a little bit of an advantage. Um, the other thing of course that the battle pass tanks have got is the free um, consumable for repair, the, uh, the premium consumable, so you get a effectively 20,000 credit advantage in every game, that's something that gets used a lot, so it's an infinite amount of restocking which is good. And I suppose the other thing about it, just speed-wise, 35 kilometers per hour is not that bad, and he's running turbo to improve that. So it's sort of, it's almost putting it into sort of medium tank category in that respect. Um, and as an assault TD, although you expect sort of very strong frontal armor, which um, it's got 120 on the front, but 300 on the turret front. So you've got some characteristics there, but uh, it's more about mobility, I think can you get in and out of situations. Alright, so let's get back to the battle though. Sort of back to sort of equilibrium, but he's got some targets here on the side. Puts a nice roll into the 705. Okay, this is DPM at work here. Can you get a kill and shot here? It takes a hit from another T60, who's down on the cap area from what we've seen on the um, mini map there. In fact, there he is spotted some revenge, that'd be nice. So, lead 
just relocating here. Here that I'll deal with this. Where is this T60? Here it comes. Alright, might, might get the killing shot here, or well, in fact it does, because someone else gets the hit first and he only gets 98 hit points of damage out of that. But now he's got some targets on the other side of the track, including Borsig, Saladin, and can he fit the shot in? No. Well, he could have, but the cell had disappeared before his shot arrived. So his team's starting to clean up now. And Borsig goes down as well without getting the damage out of it. So he's not getting a lot of damage at this point, only 1500, which is interesting. There's still a few tanks left in the game, though. And he's more just sitting on camp here to to wait. Oh, wait, there he's got the Waffle Traeger. So he puts in a complete average roll there, 400. Another ball signal down there. And it's some shots disappearing, so he's not uh, getting fantastic output here. So he's using his HE shell, so that could be part of it. And there you go, he's got a nice 500. So it's starting to accumulate damage now fairly quickly. And again, this is the DPM at work. Another 500 out of the Waffen Traeger. And that brings him up close to 300. And now there's a ball sig down there. Just used the last of his HE shells, getting another 500-ish damage. So 3,500 damage, it just bumped up by 2k in that short amount of time. And now there's just an arty left, so I'm not sure if it's going to improve. Oh, well, he might. There's the arty. <laughs> just slammed him. But unfortunately gets taken out. So that's the end of the game. Let's go and have a look at the details and get another view of how this tank works. Alright, let's have a look at the results. 3.5k of damage, uh, another 2.1 of assisted, so that's um, 5.6 approximately of combined. 4 kills, and he's earned the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. But uh, let's have a look at the team score, see how that arrived. Alright, 12.21 base, so a little bit lower than what you might expect over time. But it's early days for the tier 60, so that's a reasonable explanation. But he did end up with both top EXP and damage uh, across the game. Uh, I'm not going to concentrate on the enemy. I mean, this is more about the tank, not so much the battle, but um, did end up in the best position. But definitely helped by using his HE shells uh, in the right situation. But I guess the question is over the gun handling. Um, so you can see 16 shots fired, only 10 hits. Each hit penetrated, so that's good. Um, definitely decent penetration for the gun. Uh, that's not so much the issue. I think the um, dispersion perhaps and the, um, the gun handling perhaps a little suspect, but again this is just one sample, so uh, I have to probably look for more replays to see how that pans out over time. Uh, earning potential, um, so with that damage, didn't earn a lot for the battle actually, 60k um, income. Repair costs, uh, the consumable cost there is the food that he was running, and so he's only made 9,000 credits profit, which I guess is not so bad. <coughs> no personal reserves running or any other sort of benefits. Uh, this is tier 9, and, you know, that's somewhat to be expected, but at least he made a profit there. Uh, the other thing about, of course, the um, Battle Pass tanks is the ability to earn bonds, so that's a decent uh, output that is well, well getting um, 30 bonds for the game. Uh, being the top player, so that is a handy um, benefit as well from the Battle Pass tanks, but all the Battle Pass tanks are the same in that regard, so, you know, not calling this one out in particular. Anyway, um, it was a decent battle. Thanks, Lee, for providing the content. Um, again, I'm not trying to say whether this tank is worth the tokens or not. I'll let you make those decisions and look at some more content, but hopefully this has given you some insight into that. Uh, if you got some value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, that's an option for you. I'm very happy to answer any questions through the comments, um, but otherwise we'll have more great content to follow this one. Thanks very much for watching.